What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to restart as well as reset your iDevice. Now this is some basic knowledge that every iPhone or iPod, iPad user needs to know just for basic troubleshooting. So if you're having issues with a specific application or maybe you're jailbroken and you're having some issues with some tweaks, then maybe a restart or a reset is something that you want to try out. So the first thing that you want to give a shot is restarting your device. Now to do this, all you need to do is hold down the power button at the top until you get the slide to power off right here and then once you get this slide to power off just go ahead and slide to power off now we get a little dial right here and let it completely turn off so once that dial is completely gone then we can go ahead and turn the device back on just by holding the power button once again all right so now that it's off we'll go ahead and hold down the power button until we see the apple logo and then once that Apple logo shows up, then we can let go and let it continue to boot back up. And it shouldn't take too long to boot up your device. All right, so now that we're actually booted up, we'll go ahead and unlock the device here. And now the next thing that I wanna show you guys is how to reset your device. So this is gonna be different and the second step that you wanna take if the first restart, which I just showed you, does not solve your issue. So the reset is pretty simple as well. All you want to do is hold down that power button as well as the home button right here at the same time. So we're just going to hold that down for about 10 seconds or until the Apple logo shows up right here. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you can let go or you can let go right when that Apple logo shows up. It doesn't really matter. And it's going to continue to reset your device and boot back up. Now, again, this is probably going to resolve most of the common issues that you have. If you're jailbroken, like I said, then it's possible that you're going to get some other issues that you may need to uninstall a tweak or update a tweak if you're having some conflicting uh, issues right there but this is going to be something that you can try out to begin with this is going to be your first step into solving whatever issue you have with your device so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe all right guys until next time this is iTweaks with iphonehacks.com